boys and girls how about that thanksgiving did you enjoy your thanksgiving the way i did how about you david man i am stuff s-t-u-f-f -F. all of us all of us but it was a wonderful time being with family and friends absolutely we have so much to be thankful for David, do you want to say the prayer for us? Absolutely. All Boys right. and girls, if you just bow your head for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for yet another week. We thank you for a tremendous Thanksgiving that we have. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our ministerial staff. We thank you for all of those leaders and all of those people that come before us. Just blessing us, Lord God. Continue to give us favor with man and with you, Lord God. And we thank you for the word that's gonna go forth today to better our lives. We give you alone all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. We Absolutely. have to do that all the time. Think thank you. That's a tongue twister, I'm telling you. It is. But our memory verse for think thank you, David, it comes from... From 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, right? Let's repeat that. Repeat that with me. Give thanks... Give thanks in all circumstances. In all circumstances. For this is God's will. For this is God's will. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Yes, 1 Thessalonians 5:18. Remember that, boys and girls, the rest of the year. Give thanks. These are the books of the Bible. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job, Psalms and Proverbs. 
Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea. Joel and Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. It's everyone free, a gift for you, for me Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy Joshua, Judges, Ruth First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job Psalms and Proverbs Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea, Joel and Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, It's a letter from God that sets everyone free A gift for you, for me These are the books of the Bible The wonderful books of the Bible These are the books of the Bible The wonderful books of the Bible These are the books of the Bible The wonderful books of the Bible These are the books of the Bible The wonderful books of the Bible These are the books of the Bible All right. Hey kids, I bet you thought Thanksgiving was over. Not quite yet, because I have a Thanksgiving joke for you. All right, let's hear it. Yes, it's gonna make you laugh. <laughs> what did the mother turkey say to her disobedient children? David? Gobble, gobble. No, not gobble, gobble, come on. <laughs> Um, Do you know, boys and girls? I don't know. She said, if your father could see you now, he would turn over in his gravy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How about that, David? <laughs> that Did you turn good. over in that your was, gravy? That was pretty good. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> well, we're not talking about gravy today. We're talking about our lesson. And do you want to tell the boys and girls about our lesson today, David? Hey, here's what's funny, right? So you're talking about turning over in your gravy. You know, this lesson, when I came up, we used to talk about how things were gravy, right? Mm -hmm. So being, Oh, yeah, meaning easy. Yeah, how things yeah. were easy, right? And so that brings us back to our lesson, being thankful. Right? Being thankful to God makes things easy, makes things gravy. You're so, right. so, so all of the things that's that, good. All of the things that we that's have good. that are already good, it puts that extra gravy, that extra sauce, that extra mm, make you feel good on the inside. You know what I mean, guys? So it's okay <laughs> for Daddy Turkey to turn over, turn over his in gravy. The gravy. <laughs> 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 so let's talk about the lesson today. And, and so we're talking about thankfulness even still, right? How many of y'all have said, you know, God bless you? And, you know, a lot of times we equate that to when someone sneezes. Right. You know what I mean? But how many of y'all have really said God bless you and actually what? Mean, mean it, it right? Right, right? And I think so many times we get into these habits of these cliches, these sayings, right? Um, that are like, God bless you. But do we really mean it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's up for our parents, right? Our teachers, our ministerial yes. staff, right? Our leaders to get us in the habit 
of just simply blessing others, right? Right, you're absolutely right. And so when we get into that habit of blessing others, we're able to accomplish the things that we're supposed to accomplish, and we're able to accomplish a lot of the things that we want to accomplish, and most of all, we're able to accomplish things that God wants us to accomplish. And then we get in a habit, not just a habit, but we get in the mode. It becomes a lifestyle. Of thankfulness, right? right? And so how many of you all know when you bless somebody, you want somebody to be what? Thankful that you blessed them. Mm -hmm. How much more does God want you to be thankful for the things that he has blessed you with? Yes, yes. That's good, David. That's really good. Thank you for that word. That's really, really good. Awesome. After months of demonstrating his power and authority through miracles, casting out demons, forgiving sins, and preaching the good news of the kingdom of God, Jesus began to make the slow journey back to Jerusalem. One day, he stopped in a small village. As Jesus arrived, he was met by ten lepers. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, they cried in unison, their voices hoarse with disease. The lepers stood just far enough away to keep their infection from reaching him, but close enough that the smell of open sores and rotting flesh was almost noticeable. Their deformed bodies told the story of suffering, shame, and loneliness. They were of all men most miserable, most wretched. Anyone else would have turned their head and quickly walked away, but not Jesus. He stopped to hear them and acknowledge their pain. Then Jesus said the most peculiar thing. Jesus commanded them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. It was an odd thing to say, because they had already presented themselves to the priest, and he had declared them unclean outcasts. Unless their condition miraculously changed, there was no reason for them to return. But they did what Jesus commanded, even though it did not make sense. As they began to walk away, something miraculous happened. The body of each man was transformed from a hopelessly disfigured leper to a picture of perfect health. Arms and legs grew back where they had once been missing. Scaly skin took on a smooth and youthful appearance where it was once filled with sores and scars. And where there had been blindness, complete vision was now restored. We are healed! Their voices rang in youthful joy at what had just happened to them. They continued toward the temple without even glancing back to acknowledge their healer, except for one. This one leper stopped, looking again at his hands and feet and his new complexion. He was amazed by his transformation and so overcome with gratitude toward the great healer, he began praising God with a loud voice. Then he turned to find Jesus still standing in the distance and ran to him and fell at his feet in worship. This true life demonstration was a lot like a parable, so Jesus began to teach its meanings with questions. Didn't I heal 10 lepers? Where are the other nine? Is this foreigner the only one who returns to give me praise. You see, the others were glad to be healed, but only one returned and embraced Jesus as the one who healed. Only one worshiped him as God. Then with the same compassion, mercy, and love Jesus had spoken with when he healed the diseased men, he addressed the one grateful man, rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. So remember our key passage of today, right? Jesus heals 10 lepers, but there was only one that was thankful, right? How many uh, lepers did he heal that day? He healed 10. There was 10 of them. Absolutely. And only one? Only one 
came back and was thankful. Mm. But what is leprosy, right? So when 10, when he says he healed 10 lepers, let's talk about what leprosy was. It was an icky, icky sores all over you. Boys and girls, have you ever fallen outside and scraped the skin off ah. of your knees or your hands? That's what leprosy was, but it was all over there. Almost like body. Freddy Krueger, right? Oh, like just, gross. Just, just how, you know, the skin and everything is kind of mutated, they, right. right? And they were outcasts. They couldn't live in the city amongst their family and friends. They were put on the outskirts of yeah. the city. So, so boys and girls, not only did they have this, 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 this nasty disease, they were also bullied. They were outcasts. People didn't want to have anything to do with them. And Jesus came in and did what? What did Jesus do? He touched them. He wasn't afraid of them. Like the Midas touch though. It wasn't just a, any type of touch. It was a, it was a like touch that just. Hit. It was a healing touch. And that healing mind. touch gave them perfect skin, cleaned them up, made them look good. Their countenance changed. Their whole life changed, right? They had a brand new walk because they were dripping. dripping. I'm just saying, dripping. Drip. Hey, yes. they had that drip. They had that swag. I mean, they had it going on, right? Yes, they did. But now watch this. But only one of them came back and said, Jesus, thank you. My goodness. My goodness. Out of 10, one came back to say, thank you. And so it's very important that when somebody blesses you, that you're thankful for them blessing you, but that you let them know that right. you're thankful for them blessing you. You show them a gratitude. So it's okay to thankful. it's okay to be excited when you receive a gift, but maintain what some type of semblance of thankfulness, right? right? Mm -hmm. And make you're sure you show right. that person that you're thankful. It's it's not only respect, but it's showing that you live a life of gratitude and thankfulness. So boys and girls. We have to make sure that we say thank you. When someone holds the door open for you, say you want to say you. thank you. If someone, your mom, your dad, put a nice dinner on the table, say thank you. Show some gratitude for it. If somebody want to give you some extra jingling, jingling, a little extra what? bread or paper as the kids said, then what do you say? You say what? Thank you. I'll be happy to say thank you if you got some more jingle. <laughs> jingling, jingling. <laughs> but boys and girls, if you don't remember anything else, remember that we have to show gratitude. We have to be thankful to what we have been given or what we have received. Go back to that person and tell them thank you. Be quick to bless someone else. Now what's great about that, I like the scripture that says, to whom much is what? Given. Much is also required. And that requirement is to be thankful. Right, and God wants us to have grateful hearts. He wants us to be grateful to him as well. Absolutely. So saying thank you is a great habit. How long does it take to form a habit? I think 21 days to form a habit. You can form the habit of saying thank you. Boys and girls, let's not just be thankful at Thanksgiving, but have a habit or a lifestyle of being grateful. David, I'm grateful that you joined us here today. And I'm Thank grateful you. that you invited me. And I'm grateful for all of the boys and girls. Me too. I am so grateful for all of them. All of them. Don't just say the words. Thank you because you have to say it. Say thank you because you mean it. Hi, boys and girls. We come to a very special time in our service where I would like to ask you if you want to ask Jesus to come into your heart. If you do, say this simple prayer with me. Father God, I'd like to thank you for sending your son Jesus to save me. 
I believe Jesus died on the cross and took my sins in my place. Please forgive me for all the wrong things I've done. I also believe you brought Jesus back to life again and that I can have new life in him. I look forward to being with you forever one day. Amen. If you said that prayer for the very first time, guess what, boys and girls? Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you know where that book is? It's in heaven with God. We want to know that you asked Jesus to come into your heart. When you let us know, we're going to send you this book, which tells all about your wonderful decision. So if you want this book and you said that prayer, send an email to rjohnson at linkedupchurch.com. All right, boys and girls, it's that time. Time for our PowerPoint review. Let's see how you do today. Better still, let's see how David I will got do. This. I got it? this. Okay, let's see. First question, are you ready? I'm ready. Boys and girls, are you ready? All right, let's get this together. Jesus was approached by how many men that were leopards? Oh, that's an easy one. 10, one zero, it was 10. Boys and girls, you gotta back me up. 10. Good job. All I'm right, impressed, right, right. I'm impressed. Well, I got right. a question for you. Okay. All right, so Jesus told the men to go show themselves to who? To go, to go show yourself to the mirror? To the mirror. I'm looking for the man in the mirror. No. No, that wasn't the right answer. I know. I was just kidding. Okay. All right. All right. The priest, because it was the only the priest that could say that they were actually now clean. That was it. That was the answer to that question. All right, okay. it's one to one. All right, one one. <laughs> but I'm about to get you now. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. When the men went on their way, they saw that they were what? That they was fly. I mean, they were healed. Skin was beautiful. They had the swag that they had before they were plagued with this awful disease. So you're saying they were healed? They was or they, were, they had swag, which one? All of that. They was healed and they had swag. Okay, so he's right. They were healed. <laughs> they were healed. All right, here we go. Now, I got, I got a question for you. So now I'm leading two to one, but we're going to give her a chance to come back. So other 10 men, only how many went back to say what? Thank you. All of them should have but they didn't. Only one. Only one. And I think it's only gonna be one person that win this game, but we tied up. You're right. To the the two. winner, uh -huh. the winner, uh -huh. the right. winner. Okay, so, it's so on we, you. So we got a tiebreaker question here, right? So, and, and then I'll read the question and then we can both answer it. I'm gonna count to three and we both gonna get it. But Same that means that you had a heads up on the question. You had time to think about it. That's not fair. All right. Well, I'm thankful that we're playing the game together. So let's go ahead and let the kids decide what the answer is here. All right. Okay. So okay. Jesus wants us to count our what? Jesus what? Jesus wants us to count our what? and always be thankful. Jesus wants us to count our what and always be thankful. Let me see those messages coming in. Boys and girls, I know you know how to respond quickly, thumbs up or something. I love it, I love it. I keep seeing in that box, blessings, 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 yes. blessings, yes. blessings, blessings, blessings. They blessings. got it, that is they the got right it. answer. They got it. Absolutely wonderful. That's thank amazing. you guys for, thank you for. Tuning in. No, thank you for helping me be a winner. Ah, uh, hey, we are I didn't know how to say winners. that really. We are all winners You're here. right, David. We're we all, all winners. winners here. We're all winners so in Jesus Christ. So not only did we answer the questions right, but you two boys and girls answered the questions right, right? That's absolutely mm. right. That's awesome. absolutely awesome. right. Hey, boys and girls, does anyone know what time it is? 
Yes, it's offering time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys and girls, did you know one person gives freely yet gains even poverty? Proverbs 11:24 shows us that only through giving can we truly be blessed with real wealth, including monetary and emotional gains. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together. That's one version, but I want you to hear this other version. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. What do we want to do? We want to give. We today, you can give at linkedupchurch.com backslash give. This has been an awesome time. I've enjoyed you, David. The kids have had a great time. And make sure that you continue to say thank you in everything. There is nothing that we cannot be thankful for. We have to be thankful for everything in our lives. And right now, we might as well close in prayer. Absolutely. So let's bow our heads again, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, we're just so thankful. We're filled with so much gratitude in our hearts right now. Thank you for life. Thank you for the word that came before us. And we'll be careful to be thankful as we walk through this yes, life, as you, we Father. go to school, as thank we're blessed you, in Father. school, as we're blessed in our household, as we're blessed with many blessings, food, money, whatever comes our way, we will be careful to be thankful unto you, Lord God, giving you all the glory in Jesus' name and all in agreement with that prayer says, that amen. means you boys and girls, Amen. amen, amen, amen. Oh man, this is great. It was. High Had five. a great time. We'll see you all next, next week. week. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah